All right, I want to show you the best part of the house. We don't have air conditioning because the house is too big and old for that, so we can't run the ducts that would actually carry the air conditioning around. It would just be way too expensive. Um, but we do have a great cooling system. It's just a giant fan, and that's what was behind these doors. So if you open that up, you can see there's a giant hole in the side of my house, which is a little intimidating at times. Um, but it does have these windows, and you basically open them up. This winter we had them sealed up with some extra storm windows, and then, you know, we put up the extra barrier to try and keep the heat from flowing straight out of the house because it is yet another window, so we don't conduct much. I don't know how well you can see that. Those are giant fan blades. Um, I haven't turned it on all winter, so let's see if it works. What it does is it blows the, the air out of the house. And it sucks all the hot air out so that then what happens is you can actually get the cool air to come in. There it goes. You can't do this for very long because what ends up happening is it's going to pull a ton of air in from outside, which we don't want to do because it's very hot today. So that's the attic fan. Let me turn it off real quick before my husband figures out what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what it does. And when it gets nice and cool outside in the afternoon after the sun goes down, if it's warm in the house, what we can do is just open up the windows and it can suck all the air out. When I was talking about Ryan's room being connected to Owen's room downstairs on the second floor, the nice thing is, is when you open their doors, that creates another area. It creates a channel for the air to flow. So convection will work down there. Um, we have this giant convection maker. We don't even have to wait for the heat to rise and pull its way out of the house. We can just turn on the fan and that starts to blow very nicely. Um, this works really well in houses that have a center hall like this that goes up straight through the middle of the house because what it will do is it just sucks the air all the way up and out. So if you can create a place where maybe you have like a window at the top of the stairs, if you pop a fan in and face it out so that all the air gets pulled out, it will pull the air, the hot air out of the house and then down at the bottom if you open up the windows it'll start to suck the cooler air in from outside. Um, and this only works when it cools off outside a little bit more than it is inside the house. So this is how you can make your house a little bit cooler when it's cooler outside. But you know those nights when it's just like the air's just stuck in your house and it's just sitting there. Um, if you can create somewhere where you have um, convection or you can create a convection current to suck all of the air out of your house um, and pull in the cooler night air, it makes it just perfect to sleep in. It's wonderful. It's way cheaper than air conditioning. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that you try and put a big hole in the side of your in your, in the side of your house and install a giant fan like that. But again, just placing like a big box fan or something like that in an open window at the top of the house um, will definitely increase the amount of air that gets pulled into the house. And you can strategically open and close windows to vent different rooms out. So super fun and my favorite part of my house because we're never hot. It's great. <laughs>